Hello, my name is Caitlin and this is the Wellmore Winters Budgeting Channel. I am a zero-based budgeter, which means at the end of all my, each of my paychecks, every dollar is accounted for and I get paid bi-weekly. And today we're going to do a sinking funds and savings challenge update for April. It's been a while since I made one of these, so if that sounds interesting to you at all, keep watching. I don't know, as the year started, I got really bad at making sure that I was staying up to date on my savings challenges, like counting it and my sinking funds. And oh, we have a little visitor. Hello, Bao Bay. Um, and you know, I miss doing this. I miss seeing how much money we were able to save. So I did at the beginning of April track <laughs> how much money I had here. Do you want a place to sit down? Let's move some stuff around for you. Yeah. Let's we'll move these over here. Okay. We'll have a little bit of her tail maybe in the video and she'll probably come back over here. But um I always liked keeping track of how much money I had managed to save. So today we're actually gonna do it. We'll stop talking and get to it. Uh emergency fund. We started off April with six hundred and ninety dollars. We now have 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 8, 70 in emergency fund. All right, 870. And we'll just do this one at a time as we go through. Sorry, the angle's awkward. I don't. <laughs> She's chilling out over here. So 870 minus 690 and just save 800 or wow, $180 this month. And here, month ahead, start off with 205. We now have 100, 200, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 425. $425 in here. We saved $220. Bobea is just right next to me, so I'm waiting for her to come over here. And then some of these funds were switched um, when I made this. So we're going to go ahead and jump around down to Christmas. We had $250 when we started the month. $100, $150, $200, $250. 270, 290, 310, 330, 350. Sorry, getting distracted by the cats. Okay, 350 dollars in here. Not bad. There we go. 350. So we managed to save a hundred dollars in Christmas this month. Birthdays. Started off with 190. We have 1, 150, 200, 220, 40, 260. I always like checking to see where I'm at at the end of the month just to like get an idea of. I feel like it helps you save more when you can really see $70 saved this month, how much money in total. You were able to save like even just these numbers are so much fun like i know my low priority is going to be lower and we'll have to check with savings challenges but yeah it always makes me happy so the van we started off with 150 we now have 150 to 210 in van so van 210 we managed to save 60 dollars our maintenance we start off with 160 and I haven't really had to spend any of these yet some of these are like funds that you do get spent more often so you know sometimes it's negative and that's okay but we have 100 120 40 60 80 190 in car maintenance so car maintenance 190 we're gonna save 30 dollars 
vacation. Now this one's gonna be decimated soon for my trip, for the wedding. We started off with $36. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 108 in vacation. Yeah, and this is like the one time too I actually keep track of like how my savings challenges are doing. So definitely not had an idea in a while. Like obviously I counted it up at the beginning of the month, but it's been a hot minute since I actually had like an accurate idea of how much money I was saving a month for savings challenges. So saving started off with 130. We have 120, 40, 50, 160. So saved $30. And then back to bank, we don't count. That's it for high priority. On to low. And if and you see anything in this video that you're interested in getting, all of it is linked down in the description. So self-care, we started off with 66. I know that this is gonna be lower because I went to go get my hair cut. We now have $10 in here. Self-care, we have 10, so that's minus 56. Property, start off with $56. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, so $74 in property. I'm excited too because I feel like quite a few of these last videos I've either had like things that I need to save up for like vacation which is going to get a large amount of my next paycheck or you know just like a bunch of different stuff where I don't know like I feel like I haven't been able to put as much money towards these low priorities as I want so hopefully in the next couple paychecks I can where I don't have other than like my goals that I have at the end of the year Apartment has zero now, so that's minus 52. Um, I can actually, I don't know, like stuff them a little bit more. I miss having to be able to put some money in here or go back to at least putting a dollar in. Cats have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98 dollars. We started with 108. So we went down $10. Outfits, we started off with 55. I needed to buy some new clothing. We just have a 10 left in here. 10, so we went down $45. And because I can't stuff them too, these ones have kind of just been going down. Family time is now zero. So that's minus 56. Cause you know, I've still been doing these things. This is more of like a spending binder than high priority is. I feel like that's a little bit more long-term other than this medical. Uh, medical started off with 40. We have 20, 30, 40, 50 in medical. All right, 50. So we went up $10. Gifts has zero down 30 had to buy my friend's wedding gift so that's it for low we'll go ahead and add up these ending balances so we got nope. Let me set that there we have 870 plus 425 Ending balance is two thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars minus two two seven four. Okay, this month in sinking funds managed to save five hundred and forty one dollars, even with quite a few of these going down. So that's awesome. And on to savings challenges. 
Move that up there. First up, 100 envelope. So we started the month with $197 in here. We now have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 265, 66, 67, 68. 268 in a hundred envelope. Can't believe that like, let's do okay, 268, that this is able to go up, that this goes up to like $5,000. I can't wait to see that much money in there. It's gonna be an amazing day. Managed to save $71 in the hundred envelope challenge. The sorority payback, we started with $66. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, $90 in here now. So we have 90, 90. Minus 66, managed to save $24 in here. Mini savings challenge, we started off with 37. Now have 20, 40, 45. So 45 minus 37. $8 in here. And then we also added this $200 savings challenge. So I'm just going to plus $200 savings challenge. And in here currently, we should only have 20. Yep, two tens. All right, so let's go ahead and add up these ending balances. So we got 268 plus 45 plus 90 plus 20. So $423 currently in savings challenges minus the 300. So managed to also save $123 in savings challenges, which means this month able to save $664 which is uh, amazing. So excited about that. Hopefully next month we can see even more. So some of these won't be negative. That would be awesome. And then on top of it, there is a new savings challenge that I just picked up. I asked you guys in a couple videos back to recommend some shops to pick up stuff from. And this is one of them that I did. It is a mystery scratch off amount. I have no idea what's gonna be in here. But I think what I'm gonna do, if you've watched all the way through the video, is a little treat. I'll scratch my first one off on here that I will cash stuff my next paycheck. And I have no idea what these are gonna add up to. So I'm really hoping that these aren't anything like too, too high. Um, because I have, I have no idea what amount these go to. Um, and then if you guys like it and I like it, what I might do is once I finish this set, she has a couple more. This is her set A. And we're going to go ahead and grab a coin. Put this over to the side to get a better scratch. See what we got for next paycheck, how much we're putting aside. $32. Okay, that's nothing too bad. So next paycheck, we will be putting aside $32 for this new savings challenge. So if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I can't wait to just keep saving more and more this year and bring you guys along with me. Um, thanks to all of you. And the reason that this I keep going, even when maybe sometimes I feel a little, you know, down about the fact that maybe I feel like I'm not saving a lot so much or that a lot of my money is going towards debt but knowing that this month I managed to save $664 is that's awesome so thanks to all of you 
Sorry about Bay didn't stay for longer in the video, but hopefully you liked her little sneak peek. I hope wherever you're at, you're at, you have some good weather and you're doing something fun this weekend. Give your pets a hug for me and from me and the cats. Bye. Thank you.